Kids Mitts. I am here to do the unboxing for January 2020. And here it is. I am very, very excited to share with you. There are several exclusive items in the box. You, I will post a link down below to James's video. He's already done the unboxing and he shares with you everything that's inside. I will, of course, once again, go down this list. At the very, very end, I will explain to you the different kanji that are in the incorporated in the stamp as well as I want to try out I'm going to experiment with you on camera I want to try out oops here it is uh, a, a different ink and I'm going to try and see I'm very new to this uh, I'm going to try and see if I can insert a new ink in here so that's going to be at the end uh, so those things will be at the very end uh, just to start off, I wanted to mention, please email if you have any questions instead of DM on Instagram. I I mentioned this before, but it's very difficult to link the Instagram to the customer name because for the most part, the customer name is not on the Instagram. Um, and I'm not checking it on a daily basis. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, please do feel free to email. Let's get right into it. And usually, I, I don't think I mentioned this before, I, this is just alphabetical order. <laughs> uh, that's just the easiest way for me. There's no like um, reasoning behind the order of this. So I'm just going to start right from the top. It's the So the first thing is the Classic Key Number Seals. I am very, very excited to share this with you because this is a brand new and very limited, uh, only limited to the box. As you may know we visited uh, myself Esther and Ayako from cute things from Japan we visited Kurashiki Okayama and we were able to visit the actual physical shop and um, so I'm so 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 thankful that we were able to do this uh, this is a very limited uh, we don't have any more this is the only <laughs> um, batch for the box so this is a very limited color you might have seen it in red and green um, but yeah this is a very uh, pretty must not must it's not as yellow as mustard uh, but it's in between like a mustard beige taupe type of color it's very very pretty i not sure 100 percent if ayako's shop cute things from japan is open right now last i checked it was still on break um, but i want to give you the heads up to please check her store because i know she will have some goodies as well so i'm just giving you the heads up kind of wink wink nudge nudge but this specific color um, was only for this box and it's very nice it's a very nice pack there's five sheets and it's not a sticker it's it's there's um adhesive on the back as in glue so you just have to uh, wet that and then that will stick or you can just add some uh, tape runner or something but i'm so i was so excited for this uh i couldn't it was very hard to keep a secret for months but i'm very very excited i've already seen some beautiful um, Instagram pictures with these numbers uh, if you want to check those out I think they tagged the stationary selection hashtag so you can use that to look at it I'm going to remove it from the packaging so that the glare doesn't so there's five sheets there next on the list is the Furukawashiko Minowashi Kaishi which is this one right here this is the kaishi paper it's very very pretty and there's different ways to use it um, I tend to use it for writing and sticking in my journal and my hobonichi uh, but this is really neat I haven't seen it done this way you can actually put in I think this is money or a bill and you can fold it up and that's I think that's the example right there so let's open that up and see So here it is. This is the example of the envelope where you can stick in a bill or maybe like a little note. Oh, this is really nice. <laughs> I've inserted or I've included Kaishi in the past, but I feel like this one is a lot more uh, soft in a way. 
soft as in lightweight but that is the color it's like a nice gold or more of like an antique gold type of look it matches well with this one right here it's very similar in color but yeah it's you just kind of fold it let's do it together you fold it uh, you leave maybe half a centimeter on the edge there then you fold it again so that there's an even amount of space and then you fold it I know there's a specific way you're not supposed to fold upwards I don't remember you fold the top one down first and then up and then if you don't like this like flip-flopping you just tuck it into the edge right there into the corner like that so that it's closed so I think um, the bottom always goes up. It's kind of like a celebration going, yay! I think that's what my teacher told me a long time, long time ago. Um, you, when you close the envelopes, they have to go upwards like that, like these types of envelopes. Um, so there's that really cute, even if you want to leave a little note for yourself, like a, a more of a personal type of journaling, um, I think that would be so neat and kind of tuck it in somewhere. So there's that. I keep forgetting to use these beautiful papers as a coaster and uh, the, the rings <laughs> on my table <laughs> drive me insane and I'm always like scrubbing. So I think I'll use these as coasters and then um, as if they get a little kind of wrinkly and wet, I will definitely use them in my journals. So it's very multi-use, multi-purpose. So there's that one there from Furukawashiko. And next on the list is oh, this beautiful postcard from Kenry. I will link her down below. She's part of the design team and she drew this and so pretty. It's a warabi mochi, which is a dessert, a Japanese dessert. And she's explained it right here. Our warabi mochi pound is full of moist and softness covered with homemade yellow bean cream anglaise and Dango. I hope I said that word right. Uh, but the illustration is by Kenry. Calligraphy is done by the Rising Water Calligraphy, or sorry, Rushing Water Calligraphy. Very, very pretty postcard. And you can see right there her drawing. I really would like to visit Kenry and her bakery. That would be so, so wonderful in, in Hong Kong. It's one of my wishes. So there's the postcard from Kenry. Next is this envelope from Emoji Company, Emoji San, and right there, that's the company, Kami Emoji. I met them at the uh, one of the expos last year. It was in the summer, actually. Let me just quickly open this up. So there's two envelopes, and I believe several different colors, uh, but. I was intrigued because everything is, of course, handmade there. Uh, the papers and the pack, like everything is done handmade in Osaka. And when I was talking to him at the exhibition last summer, he was saying that um, the texture, even though it is textured, you can, it's fountain pen friendly. And I thought, oh, that would be so neat to include a fountain pen in here, um, in the box, so that we can use it together. So I want to test it out with you on camera. But it is so pretty. Even the inside is decorated or like um, the motif continues on on the inside of envelope too it's not just stark white and like I said everything is handmade in Japan so I really really appreciate the time and effort and the craftsmanship that it takes to create these envelopes and I'm sure the person that's receiving the letter will also understand and appreciate it as well especially like, like when you open it up and you see this pretty pretty design it's really nice so there's two envelopes in there from emoji so the next one here is an original rubber stamp and you can see the logo there it is designed uh, by life at 30 something an extremely talented uh, artist and I want to call her an artist because she really is uh, she also did the writing for the postcard I don't know if you remember from um, December she had like the Fuji Mount Fuji and then it said a happy new year in Japanese so it's the same person that made this and it's so pretty in the middle it says 
boom ball goo buckle which is a stationary box and at the end of the video I will share with you all the different kanjis that she's written there for example I see dream there this one says health um, light yeah there's all these beautiful kanjis incorporated in this stamp um, but yeah I, I'm very very so I'm so excited to finally bring out her like first original stamp this has been out for um, several months and yes it was a very hard uh, it, this whole thing was very hard to keep like hush hush but anyways very 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 excited for this please um, I will post uh, life at 30 something her Instagram handle down below so that you can check her out and she does this beautiful writing in her Hobonichi too um, just so so talented so I'm very very excited to bring that to you this this uh, month and, and of course with this is the I went for the red, of course, for uh, New Year and for this nice big hunkle or nice big stamp. And this is the Cardinal number 25 uh, Art Nick stamp. So I will share that with you later on. I'll open that up. The next one is this Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. It's a really nice fountain pen for beginners. I have some myself. I actually like to go for extra fine, but I decided to go for fine because I know extra fine is not everybody's cup of tea. And... The Japanese fine tends to be um, a little bit thinner, in, is what I is what I hear. I'm still very uh, new to fountain pens, so something like this is easy and it's it's just really carefree. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to include a fountain pen. It has a cartridge in there. I will open it up at the end. If you want to check James's video, he opens it up as well. But I want to try and include or insert a different ink color. I purchased a sample or a couple of sample sets from Goulet Pens. So I wanted to see if I can do that on camera. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to set myself up for failure, but uh, anyways, let's. I will do that at the end because I know that's going to take a long time. Lastly is this Ryukodo Mouse Charm, and this is also handmade in Japan from Kyoto. I found them as well as, at an exhibition uh, end of the year, last year, uh, but they make and make everything. So let me open this up. It is a really cute mouse looking like that. I can't believe this is handmade. It's so cute and they tie it up. I know there's got to be some kind of uh, meaning to this, but it's very, very pretty. I know James has already stuck his uh, to his traveler's notebook with the superior labor brass star. It looks really, really nice. Um, I think I might, I think I might maybe put or attach some like lo lobster clasp or something like that. Maybe I can somehow attach it to my travelers as well. But it's very, very cute and it includes the fortune here and it's in English as well as Chinese, I think. So this is the Japanese version and then the um, other versions are on the back there so this is the good fortune oracle um, I have a middle blessing there <laughs> you can see there um, if you make an effort your wish will come true you are facing the best chance now your business luck is stable now <laughs> thank goodness it is important for you to keep your pace Keep in mind to get up and go to bed early. Oh, that's important. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to put that in my Hobonichi. I think that's so fun. Um, but this charm is so darling. It's so cute. So there's that. That's Those are the items for January's box 2020. Like I said, many of these are exclusive and so happy to kick this year off with fun things like these ones and... Yes, I hope to include more exclusives in the future, more original stamps as well. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to email. I will post the uh, email maybe somewhere here and of course down below. I will, I'm trying my best to work on restocking a couple of these uh, January boxes. I will, if I'm able to get some, I will post the information in the description as to when I will be releasing them. I think that's about it. If you want to stay tuned, I will review with you the different um, 
kanji stamps. I will post, um, if you want to stay tuned, I will do this one right now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. So I am back. It's another day. I wanted to share with you the different kanji that she used or the different characters that she's incorporated into this beautiful, beautiful stamp. I am Canadian, so my kanji is really not that great. Um, but I printed something out so that I can share with you the different meanings. Um, and I also wanted to, I forgot to share with you how the fountain pen works on the envelope. And if I have time, I thought I would kind of do a quick, not journal with me session, but start pasting things into my Hobonichi because that's how I usually like to do things. So let's discuss the different kanjis that uh, she's used. So I will let you pause it here if you want to take a look at the different wonderful positive words uh, for 2020 that are incorporated in here. I I was able to get some um, January boxes so I've decided that they will restock uh, January 30th 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and there's not a lot unfortunately um, but uh, they will be there. I have tried to also I've ordered um, just the stamp itself and so I'm hoping to get those in sometime. It's gonna be, it won't be anytime soon though, unfortunately, probably several months. Um, but I did order some of these as well, just the stamp. <laughs> and so let's have some fun here. I didn't show you the color too, so I wanted to do that and show you also how the fountain pen writes. So that's what it looks like. You can write with your fountain pen. It does feather a little bit. I don't know if you see, but that's of course because of the texture of the paper. But it's still very pretty and it, it was very, very easy for the ink to flow out. Let's see if it bleeds through. No, no bleeding at all. <laughs> so you can use your fountain pens on here. Okay, let me share with you the ink. Let's stamp it. I think, oh, it's a little bumpy there. Let's see if I can stamp it here. Let's see if I can stamp it there. Okay, so you can see the color of the ink. I'm not actually sure if this is going to bleed. So if you want to do like a second generation stamping where you stamp on a piece of paper first, and then you can stamp on here. Very pretty. Somebody posted on Instagram, they had these like circle stickers and they stamped this exactly in that circle sticker so that you can easily peel it off when you need to use it for your journals and things. And I think that was a great idea. So, so creative. Everybody is so creative. But that's the stamp again up close. I think I should have inked up the middle a little bit more, but it's very, very pretty. I really like this dark, rich red color as well. It's perfect for this kind of stamping. Once again, please feel free to check out Life at 30 something. She's the beautiful artist that uh, created this stamp. And uh, like I mentioned, she uses this type of lettering in her Hobonichi as well. So you can see on her Instagram feed and things, um, where she's used the really pretty Japanese lettering. It's something that, I don't know, she, I wish she would give herself more credit because it's very, very hard to do and she just does it with such ease. So uh, please feel free to check her out. And I will leave it at that. This video has gone on way too long. I will try my best to do more Instagram lives. I'm gonna try and see if I can do like a Facebook live or a YouTube live. I'm not really, sure how that's going to work because I've never done it before. Um, but anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.